In this tutorial series, we'll be using Audacity, the free audio recording and editing software. And I'm just going to be showing you how to use it, kind of exploring the interface a little bit and showing you uh, some different things you can do with it. So it should be a fun uh, tutorial series and I'm glad you found it. If you don't already have Audacity installed, you can check out my other video. It is legitimately free open source software. You can download and use it. It's not a free trial version or a, there's no tricks involved. This is just great free software that you can use uh, to create podcasts, to record uh, instruments, interviews. I'm using it to do my tutorial videos, to record the audio for some of my tutorials. Uh, it's just great free software and it's full featured. So go ahead and get that downloaded and installed and then come back to these uh, tutorials. I'm using it on Windows 10. It works on Linux and Mac as well. The first thing you want to do when it's first installed is to uh, go ahead and just try and do a test recording just right out the gate. Hit this record button and then when you're done hit this stop button. So I'm just going to do that. This is a test audio recording. And then we just hit play. This is a test audio recording. So the fact that we can play that back and listen to it, the fact that we see these blue waveforms appear down here, tells me that my microphone is working and that my speakers are working. So if you hit record and you just have a solid blue line and you don't see any activity even when you're talking, that's just saying that Audacity doesn't know what input device to use. It doesn't, it's not, or, or it doesn't, uh, the input device you've told it to use isn't working properly. That could mean you might have a switch on your, a lot of times a headset with a built-in microphone will have a switch that you can turn on and off to toggle if your microphone's on or off. Um, obviously your microphone has to be plugged into your computer. If you want to use the webcam microphone that's built into like a laptop, um, you specify all that and to do that, if we hover over here and look, we see we have um, a microphone symbol and a speaker symbol and we can actually change what we're using as our default device. So I was recording using my Rode microphone, my USB mic, but if I were to use this, which is my webcam, my HD webcam, uh, HD Pro webcam, I can actually come here to the end of this recording and hit record again. This is a test audio recording. And we see the wave looks different and it's going to sound a lot different too. If we play back, one is using my Rode microphone and one is using my webcam microphone. This is a test audio recording. This is a test audio recording. So you, you can change the input that you're using uh, on this tab. If you use this Microsoft Sound Mapper, that basically just means, if I right click down here and go to Open Sound Settings, that basically means whatever you're telling Windows to use as your default device, use that. So my default device is my Rode microphone. So using Microsoft Sound Mapper and using my Rode microphone option are gonna have the same result. Um, so over here on, under Speakers, it has the same option, we can say, Use Microsoft Sound Mapper. So whatever your your control panel settings are set up for, to, for your audio, that's just what it'll it'll do. So that's that might be your best option. Try that at first. Uh, so there's a couple different ways to configure it, but I'm using my um, speakers and headphones as my playback device. It's just my uh, Realtek built-in audio interface that's built into the computer. I have an option also to use my Rode microphone as an output device because my microphone has a headphone jack on it that I could use, but I don't have any headphones plugged in right now, and so if I try and play this, it's playing, but I'm not hearing the audio. That's because I'm using the wrong output device, or I'm using an output device that doesn't have anything plugged into it right now. So just play around with those to get your right configuration to actually record and hear something. Another way to get into looking at these is to go to Edit and go down to Preferences, and then the first tab here is Devices and you can change it here. It's the exact same options, it's just a different way to look at it, and it gives you a little bit more options as far as you can change this host. So you might need to change that, but I'm just leaving mine. Mine ha happened to work, and this is some of these options are gonna look different for you. You're not gonna have Rode microphone unless you have a Rode microphone plugged in. Yours might be, you know, whatever manufacturer of microphone you're using. Uh, the name of your speakers and microphones will be different than mine, but just know that sometimes you have to play with those to get it to work properly. Uh, that's the extent of actually this tutorial. I'm just going to show you, and in the next one, we'll actually learn how to uh, do some more with this. We'll learn more about what this interface is and what's going on. But I appreciate you watching this video. I hope it's helped to get your configure your, your Audacity configured properly. And uh, in the next video, we'll start learning how to record audio and edit audio. Thanks for watching.